So I figured today I would film a little video about the tools I used to build my tiny house. Before I even started this tiny house build, I did, you know, more than a year of research and I had this big long list of all the tools that I was supposed to have or that would make my life a lot easier. And so since money was a concern and something to consider, I wasn't going to just go buy the whole list of tools and then find out maybe I didn't need them or I could make it work with other tools. So I built all the framing, I put the sheathing up, I did the paneling on the inside, I framed other things and all I used was a circular saw and a jigsaw. That's it. Nothing else. I didn't have like a table thing, it was a handheld circular saw and that was how I made all of my cuts. I had a square, obviously a me measuring tape, I had a level, a hammer, nails of course, I had an impact driver, screws, tin snips for the vinyl siding outside, tin snips also for the corrugated metal roof. I did use a, I rented a flooring nail gun that worked for a while and then didn't work so then I just did the flooring by hand. I had to go somewhere but now I'm back. So what I wanted to say was that really the, the tools that you need to build a whole house are probably I would think less than $250 which is not a lot of money that you actually have to invest into the proper tools to build yourself a house. I know when I was initially looking at getting different tools, a circular saw that was like, you know, embedded in the, oh no, it wasn't, what was it? <laughs> the miter saw, I think it's called, for like 45 degree cuts and straight cuts, and it was like this whole table setup was 260 or $70, and so that would have been more than, I would say, pretty much all the tools combined. And then the more specialty things like say, so for the plumbing I had to use these special clamps, which you can purchase, save all the packaging, use it for the thing, repackage it up, and then sell it on eBay or something and get almost the same price for it. And things like the flooring gun, if you're doing like a hardwood, you can rent that for pretty cheap, which is way more affordable than buying tools. If you can borrow tools, obviously that's the best. I don't know if you would include a ladder in a tool, but yes, you will need a ladder. So what I wanted to communicate to you through this video is basically that, you know, the three main ones that I've already mentioned, the impact driver, the jigsaw, and the circular saw, probably 98% of the tools that I used on this house. So I think often when people see what other people are building and how nice they look, say, or you know, their long list of tools. You don't have to do it like everyone else. And if you're on a budget, you can make it cheaper and do things differently and more affordably. It just really comes down to how bad you want it. And I've talked about it in my financials video, you know, reaching out to other businesses and asking for donations and things like that. You know, asking neighbors for tools. I'm sure that there must be some builder or contractor near you that would be willing to lend you some tools. And if not lend, maybe you would pay them a certain amount of money to borrow them for a while. You just have to be willing to put yourself out there and ask. And I think that was something I really struggled with and you know, having to go and ask people for money when I didn't even have any physical manifestation of this tiny house at all. It was just an idea and so people were donating money to this idea that I had. I would just be open and if you really want a tiny house, you can make it happen. I am more than happy to answer questions through email or in the comments below. Ask away and I will do my best to respond. I do like to take my time to respond properly and well, I guess. So. If you email me, sometimes I'll email you back like within a day. Other times it might be a week or more and that just totally depends on what's going on in my life. So thank you so much for watching. 
There will be probably one more video before I leave for Madagascar. I will be editing these, this video and another video that will be going up while I'm leaving. So yeah, you'll see some Madagascar vlog videos and other such fun things to come. So I will see you very soon and I hope you're having an amazing day. Oh, 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 oh,